Hello Polygon, it's September 12th, and it's my great honor to serve as the vessel for the pros of the heart, mind, and soul of our site, Managing Editor Justin McElroy. I'm Christopher Grant, Polygon's tyrannical ruler, and you're watching Speedrun. News editor Brian Crescente discussed Grand Theft Auto V's three protagonists with Rockstar's Dan Hauser. Because of the unorthodox structure of the game, the team was able to string together the most compelling set pieces of the game and let players experience them from multiple angles. The ability to leap between the leading men also lets players get a glimpse into how those characters live when they're not having their strings pulled. It's a life he's living that you're not involved in, Hauser said. As the storyline has progressed through the narrative, that life he's living will change. I wonder if my employees at Polygon have lives of their own when I'm not controlling them. Ha! Trick question! I'm always in control! We have a new review for Rise of the Triad, if you're in the market for some old school comfort food. Though reviewer Dave Tack initially struggled with the hyperkinetic gameplay, he appreciates its retro design. He said, Rise of the Triad is the purest of first person shooters. I spent the overwhelming majority of my time moving forward through tight hallways and arenas, collecting colored keys to progress beyond locked doors, and blasting anyone in my way. It's simplistic, but Interceptor shows some real talent at recreating old school tropes. Tack also mentioned that the frenetic pace made him motion sick at times, but don't worry, he'll be punished for his weakness. After 23 years, UK developer Blitz Game Studios is closing its doors, according to a post on their official website. The company includes divisions like Ustar 2 developer Blitz Games and Reservoir Dog Studio Volatile Games. 175 jobs have been lost, but Oxford-based Rebellion is in, quote, close talks with Blitz to hire some of those employees. Also, two of the studio's current projects will have new life in a smaller company that will be able to hire back around 50 staffers. Our best wishes to all those affected. And in lighter news, Pocket Trains is the latest sim adorable sim simulation from Nimblebit, the studio behind Tiny Tower and Pocket Planes. Do you see, do you see what I did there? You guys like... You guys laughing? You! Hey! You! Laugh! <laughs> and that's gonna do it for us, Polynauts. We'll be back tomorrow, if I haven't executed the entire video staff for not making me appear handsome enough. Just the latest in a long line of despotic outbursts that have characterized my terrifying reign over Polygon. Sleep tight.